Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Net 100. Um, so I wanted to make an update video on my color. Um, one of my subscribers actually asked that I give a one year review of my color. And I didn't even think that it had already been a year until I actually went back onto my channel and looked at my Shea Moisture review and color video and realized that in April of 2017, it was actually a whole year um, since I actually colored my locks. So I'm very excited to actually bring you back a review because I do have some stuff to say um, about it. Um, and I'll just kind of let you know, you know, my thoughts on having been colored for one year. Um, so let's first start by saying, um, well, let's just ask a few questions. So for example, would I use Shea Moisture again to color my locks? Um, I kind of am half and half. Um, I do like the fact that after using the color, I did not see a difference in my locks, meaning I didn't see any breakage. I didn't see that my locks were dry. I really did see a huge difference in my hair. But then again, Shea Moisture does pride itself on a no lie color system. So maybe that's why. So in, in, in that essence, I would use it again because I feel like it would be safe on my locks. Um, no, probably because I feel like my color either I used the wrong color or maybe I didn't use a bright enough color. Um, I feel like the color I wanted wasn't exactly what I got and I think that's because there is no lie. There was no, I guess, bleaching so the color didn't take as much. Um, and additionally, when I get into my full review, I don't feel like my color lasted. Um, and that's maybe because, like I said, I didn't use a color that actually brought out the color that I wanted. So it, it's almost like the color faded a little bit. Um, so, so that's why I say I'm yes and no for the Shea Moisture Coloring System. Yes, because it doesn't have, you know, products in it that's going to damage my locks. And no, because the color payoff wasn't exactly what I um, wanted and it really didn't last that long. So let's go into the actual review. My hair has actually been doing very good since I colored it. I, like I said before, have not had any problems with breakage or um, anything that would damage the integrity of my locks. Um, so in that sense, I am happy that I colored it. But now that I'm a year after the coloring um, time, it feels like my hair has not lifted or the color did not lift my hair so if i do like a white sheet of paper because it's like the best way to kind of see how much um has grown i hope you guys can see if i come a little bit closer if you can see like it's like there is no difference in the color of my hair from when it has grown to now you know like i don't really see a huge difference in the color um let's see if i take a few more locks um together um you will you can see my color but it's not potent so let's try that again and see you see how you can't really if i get a little bit closer you can't really tell that i actually have color it almost seems like my entire hair is brown however if i get a little bit closer you'll see that some of my ends seem a little bit lighter than my root um and so in that sense it does look like i have color but it's not like pow. So that's one of the things that I don't like. Um, I feel like my color has now become this um, faded, sandy brown color. I don't even know how to describe it. You ever seen somebody's color and it's like, oh my God, that color still looks great. It's still popping, it's still vibrant. My color has faded and it almost looks like a um, ashy brown. So in that sense, I don't like that. I don't like that my hair looks ashy brown. It's almost like a faded brown that has lost its luster. And so honestly, that's the reason why I actually want to color again. I know you guys are gonna be like, what, she wants to color her hair again? Um, Yeah, because I either want to pick a color that's gonna be like pow, um, that's actually going to show the difference between the, 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 the brown or the black up here and the brown or the whatever color I choose at the bottom. I really want it to pop. So that brings me to my next update in this video. I am planning to color it again. Now that it's been a year, of course I'm going to ask my consultant, ask her if it's okay to color again. Um, 
but I do want to color again and I don't actually know what coloring system I'm going to use I don't know if I'm going to use Shea Moisture again and just use a brighter color maybe like a brighter blonde to maybe lift it a little bit more or just use another coloring system that I've seen other people have used that they trust um honestly I think if you color your hair and you keep um, it moisturized and um, uh, you keep um, doing things to it um, that will keep the nourishment um, in the locks or put the nourishment back in the locks. I think you'll be fine. I'm not scared to color it again. However, I want to be selective as to what I choose to actually color my locks. So yes, I enjoyed the coloring process and yes, I enjoyed the color when I first got it, but now that I'm a year out, the color to me is not what I would like it to be. So I am looking to get something that is going to brighten up my color. I do not plan to color my entire head. I only plan to color the parts at which have color already on it and that's more so to kind of brighten it or lift the color. This time when I do it again, I will get help. I'm not going to a professional because I feel like I can do it myself. I have colored my hair before when I was a loose natural and now that I have been locked. But the second go around, I'm going to ask a friend to help me. So what I'll do is I'll work on the front and have my friend work on the back. So if and when I choose to do that again, I will take you guys on the journey with me. I will um, show you the process that I take to choose what color I choose and to actually show you um, how the process goes so that really is my update um, I want you guys to be able to actually see my hair I know you can see how like from here to here is where the brown is and then the ends is where the color is and I know some of y'all probably like well she crazy cuz I can see the color but for me I want to be able to really really see the color so yeah it actually looks like I have color let me um come a little bit closer you see how the ends right here looks brown but it looks like I don't know let me get a little bit closer it looks like it's a dusty ashy brown I don't know I don't know how to explain it and then my roots are really dark I do like the, 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 the difference between the light and the dark. I do like that. However, I do want more of a pop. I do want something that's a little bit brighter. So like I said, I will let you guys know when I plan to color and what color I plan to choose. And when I decide to do it, I will definitely document the journey so that you guys can see. I don't think I have anything else to tell you all. Um, would I recommend the Shea Moisture System to someone else? Yes. Um, if you're going to do it, depending on the color you're wanting, be selective, maybe choose a brighter color and watch it as your color, as you put the color in. But if you don't want to do it yourself, I say do it professionally. Just know that it is going to cost you to do it professionally, but at least you might get the color that you're looking for. So, um, that is my color update. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to put them in the comments box below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.